This is the historic Carousel and Museum in Albany, Oregon. Um, it's pretty cool because it's not all that historic in some ways. Uh, they just opened in 2017 and um, they're carving all of their own animals, but they got a carousel mechanism that was donated by one of the very first uh, carousel makers. Uh, I think the name was Denzel. Anyway, worth checking out for sure. So I really wanted to go to a crab restaurant <clears throat> and I just couldn't find one that had what I was looking for in any capacity. And I was in Costco yesterday and they had cooked Dungeness crabs already made up. So I got me some. Made a little dipping sauce with Old Bay and uh, Greek yogurt and uh, lemon juice. Really good actually. Got myself a little beer, watching a little YouTube, just chilling out in my RV with my crab here for myself. All right, well, I am finally, after two nights, leaving this lovely Harvest Toast location in downtown Albany, Oregon. It is Deluxe Brewing Company and Sinister Distillery. They were kind enough to let me stay for two nights which I really appreciated. And uh, one of the things that I'm learning is not having to move every day is a bonus. And I really appreciate that. Um, so, here I am on my way. Gonna run some errands, need to get some fuel. Um, need to go to the gym. I want to see another covered bridge, and then I'm going to wind up uh, visiting with a friend outside of Portland for a couple of days. Head south on Southeast Thurston Street toward Northeast Water Avenue, then turn left onto Northeast Water Avenue. I got to hear a bunch of trains overnight. I kind of wonder if they're prohibited. Turn left onto Northeast Water Avenue, then turn right onto Northeast Madison Street. I wonder if they're prohibited from running during the day. Because I haven't seen or heard any during the day the entire time I've been here. But these railroad tracks that I'm crossing, which were literally like 75 feet from where I was sleeping, um, they're active at night. Had a train come through at 1.30 this morning that uh, actually woke me up, scared me a little bit. It sounded like it was, you know, right at the back of my rig. And basically it was, I mean, you know, 75 feet away maybe. Turn right onto Northeast Madison Street. And it went on for a very long time. I mean, you know, it took it like 10 minutes to run past me. So, that was interesting. Anyway, we're gonna get some- In uh, half a mile, turn left onto Southeast 9th Avenue. We're gonna get some errands run, see what we can see. And I'll check back in with you. Guess what? It's raining again. There is a surprise. Actually, it's just sprinkling at the moment. Uh, but it's supposed to be raining again late in the afternoon, all night long, and I think into the morning tomorrow, and then it clears up again for a little while. This is definitely more rain than I've seen probably in years at this point. It feels like it's been raining pretty much every day. But that's okay. So I uh, I left the brewery this morning and got fuel, headed up to Salem to go to the gym. And as I'm approaching the gym, I realized I've got a good friend that lives in Salem. So I called her up and I said, hey, random question. I don't expect the answer to be yes, but I'm about to go to the gym. I told her where I was. Any chance you want to meet for lunch afterwards? So we did that, which was awesome. Um, and unfortunately, what I had discovered as I was getting ready to go into the gym, I'd run the water a little bit and the water pump wasn't shutting off. Now, I've had this issue intermittently previously, and it always manages to shut itself off, so I wasn't terribly concerned about it. But this time, it just seemed like it was running an inordinate amount of time with a little bit of water that I had run. So I googled it, and... Uh, the recommendation was to clean the water filter in the pump. I didn't know there was a water filter in the pump. Learned something new today. And uh, so I took that apart and discovered gigantic particles of 
like crystals of stock, a lot of them. I'd say it was probably 35-40% clogged. Cleaned it all off, put it back together, and it seems that it has solved the problem. Yay! Much better than having a leak. So that was good. Uh, so now I'm on the 5, and this is the first time I've been on the 5 since I left at the beginning of the month. And here we are at the end of the month. And I'm only going to be on it for about 25 miles altogether, I think. But, uh, yeah, I'm not a real fan of the freeways. I really prefer the byways. I'm looking forward to getting stopped for a couple of days, visiting with friends, and uh, then we'll figure out what's next.